Hey guys, this is uh, an update video for my Harbor Freight greenhouse with my Dutch bucket hydroponic system in it. A lot of people were asking for uh, some updates and some questions regarding um, my greenhouse. So um, it's not going to look as impressive as it did in the first video. Um, the amount of growth that I was getting in here was so overwhelming, especially with the cucumbers that I actually end up having to pull them all out after we harvested them and. Uh, and clean up that whole side and then lower the tables down by about two and a half to three feet. Um, you know, again, it was just so much explosive growth with this system, um, just didn't know what to expect. So now we've made some adjustments. You can see there's a few buckets that are off the line right now. That's just because um, we're clearing a few things out uh, so we can put some new stuff in. Um, but uh, a lot, a couple of had questions about the cucumber plant. So before I get into the system updates, I'll, I'll kind of just talk about these real quick. Um, I had an enormous amount of growth in the cucumbers. When in the first video, they were big and they took up this much space. They got like twice that size and they ended up coming out to like right here. And I could barely move around in here, so it wasn't that pleasant. Um, it was cool because we we're getting a lot of cucumbers, but um, it was just overwhelming the greenhouse. So I did some um, research and read up on how to grow the cucumbers in a controlled kind of manner like you do with a tomato plant and uh, end up re replanting. Um, you can see they, they start out about this size. Um, I get the uh, Boston Pickling cucumbers from Home Depot and that's the size they come. Um, this one's going through its little shock stage after I rinse out the dirt and everything. Um, but this one right here is about three and a half weeks old, uh, maybe four, and you can see it's already got some uh, massive fruit growing on it. Um, so what I ended up doing was uh, I, I looked at some professional cucumber growing um, videos and I noticed that when they were um, taking care of them and stringing them up that they were clipping as they went and I started to you know, try to figure out what exactly they were clipping so um, what it is the little antennas that the uh, cucumbers send out that start tying to everything uh, you can see one on the very top there, just haven't gotten to it yet. We cut those off, and then we're also cutting off what would be a sucker stem. So, um, where in the middle, just like in a tomato plant, another stem will branch off, um, we're cutting that off. And you can see that what's happening is all the cucumbers are now coming off of the main stem all the way up. So they're going to be huge and healthy. and just just looking at this one here this was about an inch long two days ago I mean it blew up um, so uh, the way that I'm doing it and this is experimental and if I'm wrong you guys can leave a note or something um, I'm just leaving the leaves and the main stem and letting everything grow out of the middle um, you can see already there's tons of stuff growing out of it so uh, I'm happy with that so far and it'll only get bigger these are only you know, four weeks old. So, um, you know, uh, I would try that, try trimming and, and take, clip off those little guys, the antennas that grab everything because it'll start strangling your other plants. Um, to the system, a lot of you guys had some questions. I did end up lowering everything because everything just exploded size-wise. I actually had to take out uh, a couple other uh, plants, which is kind of a bummer, but, you know, I bought originally everything to be in these little five gallon pots, not even that, and they were only this big. You know, I had a uh, my Tabasco plant, it just turned into this giant bush, and there was a thousand Tabasco peppers on there that we'll never ever use. So we pulled that out. Um, I would say the most successful other than the cucumbers so far has been the jalapeno uh, plant. It's more like a tree now. It's huge. Uh, you know, I, I'm six foot, and just standing next to this, it's, you know, it's two and a half feet up. You can see how massive it is. It goes all the way to the ceiling. And we got tons of, uh, of jalapenos on here. I've already taken off probably 50 to 75 jalapenos in the last week and a half. Sliced them up and pickled them. Uh, put them on some nachos. So um, the peppers are doing really good. Uh, I've come to the conclusion that, I, you know, I'm either really good at farming pickles, or pickles, uh, uh, peppers, or they're just simple to grow. And uh, I think it's just the latter, that they're just easy to grow. Um, this was my um, peppercini plant in the previous video. It was about this big and dying, and now they're both 
putting off uh, tons amounts of um, pepperoncinis. Uh, I've already taken probably 50 off of these as well. Letting some get red. Um, you know, I don't know what that does. I've just never seen red pepperoncinis before, so I thought it'd be cool to get some red ones and then uh, pickle them from there. So onto the system, um, I ended up uh, having to bury the uh, 47 gallon Green Horizon tank. Um, the things on there, and I also can't let them by the way. Um, you know, mainly for space issues. Um, it wasn't that I was having uh, a lot of hot water in there or it was uh, heating up inside uh, the greenhouse. And it's been 85 to 90 degrees out every day in Huntington Beach, so um, it's been maintaining a pretty cool temperature. But we, we buried it anyway just to save some space, and uh, maybe it keeps it a little bit cooler, but um, nothing substantial. Um, I also spread the buckets out. There, there used to be buckets stacked side to side to side. Um, and we had about probably eight more on the line, but that goes again with the uh, amount of growth I had. I uh, just couldn't couldn't get them that close. Um, plants were blending in together, and you know, didn't know what was what, and we we're finding these branches off the back that we could never see. Um, so we, we just kind of thought, well, let's lower it, spread them out a little bit, and um, it's working out, you know, for the better. It, it saves a little bit more water. Um, had to replumb the line. Um, didn't want a bunch of holes in there uh, for crap to get in, so, um, you know, it's not a difficult task. Um, a couple things, uh, I'm still using the same nutrient solution. I use the Dynagrow. Uh, it's just Grow, um, the 795, and I use three cups of this in my 47-gallon container. So uh, every time I fill it, um, I put three cups worth of that in there. And um, it goes kind of quick, um, just because I think it's kind of warm out and the plants are sucking up a lot of uh, water. So um, that lasts me, I don't know, maybe a month and a half so far. This is only my second one, so we're still kind of figuring it out. Um, the other thing was, somebody was asking about the line. Um, you know, I, I got this, this line, it's so good, it's like a plastic type of, of uh, line. And it wasn't anything fancy, we got it at Lowe's. It's called Blue Hawk, and it's a uh, multicolored dazzle twine. <laughs> so it's uh, probably meant for balloons or something, um, but it was only like a dollar for a whole thing, and I haven't even gone through half of it. And you can see it's just, uh, it works great. It stays really tight. The clips stay on it really well, and uh, it's cheap. So we can't argue with that. Uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much it update-wise. Um, We've done a lot of peppers, a lot of bell peppers you can see growing here, some yellow ones. Uh, just took off three nice big red ones off of this guy here. Um, the tomatoes, we harvested a lot of tomatoes and then I pulled the plants because they were just, they weren't looking very good and I think it's just because it was too hot here in California uh, and inside, excuse me, the greenhouse. So uh, we'll try those again when it cools down a little bit. Um, kind of go from there. So. Uh, feel free to ask any questions. Uh, hope it's motivating you guys to put your system together and, and have some success with it. So uh, thanks for watching and take care.